Okay, update my YouTube. Um, yeah, I got everything working, but um, yeah, my client, whoever buys this, you lost. You're gonna lose the other PCI slots anyway, due to the fact that the one at the very end was a PCI Express 4X slot. Meaning, you can plug the GPU there, it will work, but you won't get the full bandwidth of the card, and that defeats the purpose of gaming and editing and doing all that good stuff on it. So, it's this but this board, the motherboard only has one, it has a PCI Express 4.0, which is lovely, but it's only one slot, and this card is pretty, uh, this card takes up three whole slots. So with that being said, that of that slot is still lost. I was going to put a sound card there, but I can't now. But on the bright side, um they, they, you there's options. You get like a uh USB uh, like a USB sound card. So um a lot of those are pretty good. I think I have a spare now. I think I gave that one to my um client Mr. Burger. But yeah, but um, despite losing those extra PCI slots, you got options. Um, whoever my buyer may be, you can get a USB um, capture card, or you can you can and you can get a USB sound card. So you're still in the game. You're still potentially in the game. So let me hook everything up and show you guys that everything is on the up and up. I installed something called Tiny Eleven. It's basically Windows 11 without a lot of the bullshit, which is really good. And it works perfectly. And it's very fast. All right. Oh, also, you can use the um, RGB with the with the Montec with the Montec controller, and you can use it in conjunction with the motherboard. So that's actually pretty good. Uh, Supply tutorial of a tutorial on how to do it. It's on the website, so I'll screenshot it. That's not too close to the GPU. Oh, I'm gonna get a holder anyway, so. I'm gonna get a holder to hold up the GPU so the um the radiator pipes don't push down on it to make it sag. I'm gonna get a holder that's gonna go right here. It's gonna hold it up from the back, from the end, and then we're gonna be Gucci. I'm gonna keep this out so I can get all the drivers and everything for it. So yeah. Let me move the box back over here and I'm going to keep this out so I can work on it. Here we go.
All right. So yeah, here we go. The ARGB is very vibrant. Oh my good. Oh, it's probably because I got my light on. Let me cut that shit off. Help. There we go. The ARGB is pretty vibrant. I got it so the motherboard could control it. There you go. What the hell? There we go. Windows 11. But you can alternate it between controlling it from you can alternate between controlling it from the motherboard software and controlling it from the controller hardware. See? Color cycle. I like that digital wave though. If you look closely at the digital wave, you'll see the blue going around slowly. That junk look pretty cool. Shout out to Montag, man. This junk is pretty dope. I'm going to apply it. And I'm going to exit out. All right, so I'm going to leave it out so I can um, install all the drivers and all that good stuff. I got um, Firefox. Um, cause everybody talk about how Chrome hogs up your resources. So I, I put Firefox on here, but whoever buys it, the buyer, you can put whatever the hell you want. All right. So that was a quick update. So we potentially fixed a potential blunder and everything is on the full up and up now.